So the fact that Jasmine's ex is in her life and she's hiding it behind my back, that's a big red flag to me. Something's going on here. Oh snap, the tables have turned. We're about to see how Gino acts when he thinks Jasmine is cheating on him. For good reason, Gino is starting to suspect that Jasmine is messing around with her handsome Australian ex-boyfriend, Dane. Which, based off of what we've seen, she's actually not. But she is telling him all their business. He doesn't want to have sex with me. Gino and Jasmine's situation as a whole brings one cliche but game-changing phrase to mind. To always treat other people the way I want it to be treated. Yep, they don't call it the golden rule for nothing. We're gonna talk about it. Plus, for kicks and giggles, I would love to know your first reaction to Gino twerking. Yes, Jasmine gives him the most provocative workout sesh I've ever seen. Excellent. This feels more like dirty dancing than exercising to Jasmine. <laughs> Let's get into it. Hey 90 Day Fans fam, it's Melicia. After Jasmine and Gino seemingly made up after Gino took the prenup off the table, Jasmine tells Gino she's going to run errands. But she ends up going to the park to call her ex Dane. <laughs> no wonder she has trust issues, she's the one out here being sneaky. Jazzy. Hi baby. It's good to see you, what's been happening? Oh. How's it having Gino in town? If Jasmine ever caught Gino doing this, her head would explode. It would be this. How can you do that? How? Times 10. Could you imagine? Yeah. When it comes to her friendship with Dane, Jasmine says she's not being a hypocrite. I can separate a romantic relationship from a friendship. I have enough maturity to do so, but Gina doesn't. But. Is she going about being friends with him in a mature way if she's sneaking to talk to him behind her fiance's back? And a question, were she and Dane this close when she was on the show last season? <laughs> Where did he come from? All of a sudden, he has booked a recurring role in their storyline. It's so embarrassing, but he doesn't want to have sex with me. That's not good. Off the bat, she tells Dane about her intimacy issues with Gino, which is none of her ex-boyfriend's business. But at the same time, I can understand how she's probably wanting to be affirmed by another man right now, especially one like Dane, considering the fact that Gino keeps rejecting her in the bedroom. I don't know any woman, personally, whose self-esteem wouldn't be affected by that. That's hurtful. Kudos to Jasmine for even still trying to give Gino some. He took away the prenup. He was like, I'm sorry, I don't want to lose you. But I feel betrayed. Jasmine goes on to tell Dane about her prenup fight with Gino. But she didn't mention that she asked Gino to put her in his will before they get married. She kept that part out. Anyway, Dane basically gives Jasmine a pep talk. You're very, uh confident and you know what you want right so that's not a bad thing though right and you say what you want right which is a good thing and I, I think that means you've got to end up with someone who's confident as well and I think you deserve someone like really incredible I want to know the real reason why these two didn't work out is it really that Jasmine didn't want him because he's too much like Prince Charming <laughs> that's so hard to believe I really needed to hear that because sometimes I feel like, like I don't, he makes me feel like I'm not good enough. Yeah. It seems as if Jasmine has thought becoming quote unquote sexier will help her feel good enough. I am the most insecure person in the world. Trust me, I am. But it is the inner work that's really gonna make her feel like she's enough, which is why I appreciate this next moment. Dane slides in the fact that she and Gino need therapy. Like after hearing all of this stuff, I think you should maybe try therapy. He was smooth with it too. Speaking of that, 
You know, Jasmine and Gina would be a good fit for the new 90 Day spinoff, The Last Resort. If you haven't heard, the show premieres in August and it is everything, at least from what I know so far, it is everything I've been wanting from the 90 Day franchise. They took five past 90 Day Fiance couples whose relationships are struggling to a couple's retreat. They get time with a team of professionals who will help them navigate trust, jealousy, and anger issues. This is great because most people on 90 Day Fiance could use therapy. And that is no shade at all. There have been points where I could use it, and I'm sure there have been points where you could use it too. Yeah, you've got to figure this stuff out. All right, fast forward. Jasmine has Gino working out, y'all. Let's stress. Huh? Circular movements. <laughs> like this. Yeah, baby. But do it like this. With your, with, look at my leg. All right, go ahead. What type of stretching is this? We need to have fun and enjoy each other. Like this. Okay, you feel now really? While it appears that Jasmine is teaching Gino to twerk, which would be interesting, what she's really doing is trying to loosen up those hips. Yes, there you go. There you go. Excellent. I don't work out very often anymore, but this feels more like dirty dancing than exercising with Jasmine. <laughs> yes. Good? I love it. In a way, I like it, but in a way, you know, I'm not one to be doing all this in public. That's going to help you with the bunny movement during intercourse. <laughs> because sometimes you're, like, robotic. Dang. That's probably why Gino denies her sex. Because he's afraid she's going to keep telling the world about his performance. Sometimes you're, like, robotic. We don't need to know that. No, and I'm not. I'm like a wild beast. This is awkward. Baby, no, listen. Jasmine brings up how they've only slept together once since he's been there. And Gino tells her again, he gets turned off because they argue so much. Which, I don't know if that's really the case. Sometimes I wonder if it's something else. The episode ends with Jasmine and Gino going salsa dancing with Jasmine's friends and Gino revealing that Jasmine finally told him about Dane. Before we left the apartment, Jasmine was acting a little strange. She was giving me short answers and seemed to be avoiding me. I felt something was off, so I confronted her about it. And she admitted to me earlier today she was video chatting with a friend, Dane. I have been trying to let it go for tonight, but I, I'm, I don't understand why she was hiding it from me in the first place. Gino says up until this point, he never thought about getting cheated on, but now he's suspicious. So he brings it up to Jasmine's girlfriend, who tries to reassure him that Dane and Jasmine are just good friends. She dated, like, in 2018, 2019, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, so right before she met me, kinda. Kinda, yes. Imagine what Jasmine would do if I told her I was friends with my ex she would blow a nut. <laughs> blow a nut? I've never heard that. So the fact that Jasmine's ex is in her life and she's hiding it behind my back, that's a big red flag to me. Yeah. Even if you put cheating aside, you're with someone who is okay with sneaking around on you. When I spoke to Jasmine last month, she did acknowledge that she wouldn't like it if Gino was doing what she's doing. I will be pissed. I will be mad and but my definition of cheating is like you look another person you're cheating on me okay so <laughs> using my own definition of cheating I have to be fair to you know he saying like you're cheating on me at that moment according to my own definition maybe maybe I was I don't know yes maybe yes maybe not oh it could all be so simple if we just treated people the way we want to be treated it could alleviate so much unnecessary drama. All right, next week, Gino confronts Jasmine about Dane. To be honest with you, I've been a little concerned about your ex, Dane. Can you tell me what's going on? How often do you guys talk? 
at least once a week. Are you serious? You're acting like I'm cheating on you. Are you? No, she's just trying to make you a little jealous. At least that's what appears to be happening. All right, 90 Day Fans fam, thanks for hanging with me. Make sure you stick with ET because we are covering it all. I will see you next time.